welcome to the channel and welcome to the first video of it. My name is Ross and this is my fiance Jess and uh, we're going to be making challenge videos in this series and we thought what better way to kick the series off than by uh, doing a bit of a get to know you challenge so we'll be doing about 10-15 minutes worth of quick fire questions and we thought it'd be a great way for you guys to get to know us and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes. First question, who is your hero? I'll let you go first. I should have I should have looked at the probably, questions. <laughs> you probably should have ready to yourself. Yeah, I should have looked at the questions before before we started so then I actually have an idea. Um, Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Um it's an easy one for me though. My mum. Uh, she pretty much raised four kids on her own and she's my best friend. After you, obviously. <laughs> so mine would probably be my dad. He's been a role model for a long time. Um, and yeah, yeah, it'd be my dad. He's a, he's a great guy. Number two, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? I'll let you go first this one. I like where we live now. Okay. I know that's a bit of a, a cop-out answer, but I genuinely enjoy living in Blackpool. No, I feel like we are very lucky to live where we live. Um, I know it gets a bit of a bad rep, but I do love the seaside. I think if I was going to live anywhere, it wouldn't be a sort of permanent move. It'd be sort of like six months in Australia or like six months travelling east coast to America or something like that. What would you change about yourself if you could? Hair. <laughs> Hair, yeah, definitely hair. Oh dear. Hundred percent. I mean, the reason why I've got a hat on at the moment is because the the glare, <laughs> the glare from the lights in here actually blinds the camera. You Wait, can't. You it's can't. A hazard. It's it a is. Hazard. It's a health hazard. It is. I constantly have to wear a hair, uh, a cap. Sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, a swimming cap, anything like that, just to just to block the glare because there were actual complaints about the damage oh. that the back of my head was doing. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not wildly confident, I think probably that I'd probably want to be a bit more confident. What really makes you angry? Bad manners. Oh wow. Yeah, straight in there. Yeah, so bad manners. I absolutely hate bad manners. Cannot stand bad manners. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> what makes you laugh the most? This is going to sound proper cheesy, but probably you. Yeah. Because we have a very similar sense of humour. Mm -hmm. We don't actually have to say much and we just get set off. I mean, some <laughs> of the outtakes that we actually had making the <laughs> intro to this video were horrendous. Oh, like, it was really bad. <laughs> it's just us making stupid faces. Pretty much, pretty much. What about you? I'd say, yeah, I'd say I'd agree with you. I know it is It's quite cliche to say, but I think we share. Like you say, I think we share the same humour. Yeah. And we yeah. find the same things funny, if that makes sense, like when we're watching stuff. Yeah. What would you sing at karaoke night? The last time I did karaoke, it was at a friend's house in front of his family, and I did a song called Patricia the Stripper by nice. Chris de Burr, and it went down like a lead balloon. Not only did not many people know it, but it's also a bit of a raunchy song. Um, so I genuinely don't know what I do. Um, there are songs that I like, but I'm not a strong singer, so it's kind of... Yeah, I was going to say I'm not a strong singer. I'd probably do something like quite old school, probably like Spice Girls or something like that, that everybody likes, something that everybody joins in with, so you sort of, like, you, you sort of get drowned out eventually and no one like can actually hear you anymore. Next one. Mm -hmm. Have you had a, ever had a nickname and what is it? So in college I was known as Chubbs. And I've actually got it on the back of a hockey shirt somewhere mm. um, from when we did a hockey tournament. But yeah, that was, that, it, I've never had a proper nickname, but that was one that was referred sometimes yeah. in college. Yeah, I never really had one. I think people shorten Jessica to Jess, so that's sort of nickname enough, isn't it? Yeah. Through sixth form, I was called Gremlin for about a year, just because just cause I'm only five foot two. Um, stop. <laughs> Stop laughing. Because you are you are 5'10 and I'm 5'2. It's quite a stark difference. 
Yeah, but I learned recently at work that for years I thought I was 5'10 and it turns out I'm not. I'm not. I'm Why? like 5'8. And the worst part is I sit on the finance table and everyone's like 7'4. And I'm just like, <laughs> alright guys, can I have some money? Oh. If you could share a meal with any four individuals, living or dead, who would let's change that to celebrities. Any four celebrities, living or dead, who would they be? Mm, Sir Alex Ferguson. Okay. He's definitely one. Mm -hmm. uh, David Attenborough, just for the voice. I don't know what he's like as a person. Right. But just for the voice, David Attenborough. Um, just for the voice. Yeah. Like that I narrate dinner. Yeah. For the starter. That would be insane. Okay, let's let's change it. Three people to have dinner with, but one person narrates it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. It's, so it's me, Sir Alex Ferguson, yeah. David Attenborough narrating it. Um. Then who would I want? Oh, I think Freddie Mercury would be an absolutely oh, sick yeah. one. I think that'd be insane to listen to the, some some of the stories that he had. And last one. Oh, of course, comedians. Yeah. Mickey um, Flanagan. <laughs> Mickey Flanagan. Okay, four for me. I'd have Julie Andrews. Nice. Meryl Streep. Yeah. Emma Thompson. Yeah. Is it Emma Thompson that I like? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And Tom Hanks in the Oh. Yeah. Strong. Tom contender. Hanks is the penguin one. Oh no, that's Benedict Cumberbatch. I was going to say, yeah. yeah Penguins. Penguins. <laughs> penguins. Penguins. What is your favourite penguin? I'm so good for penguins. <laughs> and then it just disappears. It's like penguin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is up your street. You ready? Yeah. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Or superpowers? What would my superpower be? I'd love to fly. Would you? Yeah, I'd love to fly. I think it'd be so much more convenient <laughs> to be able to fly. <laughs> no, because it's cool and because of the convenience. Obviously. Oh, I no. mean, all of these... Gridlock! Super... <laughs> <laughs> Where is just, my super suit? <laughs> just pull into the lay-by, hop out, oh, five pound in the meter, God. nip to work, nip home, pick the car up on the way home, buzz in, bob you But you know what, I just leave the car at home. Why do I even need a car? <laughs> just, yeah, I'd have a hole in the roof. You can't even be asked to walk out the front door. Yeah, you're right, that is lazy. Are you I can joking? Fly. I you can, can fly. fly. <laughs> I'm not, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, my superpower, I think I'd, I'd, I'd love to read minds. I don't, I don't always know how I'll come across to people, so I would like to know. Run. Do you, do you not think that's got a really adverse flip side, oh. though? Really? Yeah. So I think you'd be more self-conscious because people would be like, oh, to be not fair, done my hair today. <laughs> I know when I've not done my hair. I don't know when I've done my hair. How would your friends describe you? How would my friends describe me? Yeah. No, I have two best friends um, outside Brag. of... Brag. <laughs> yeah, my two best friends are Beth and Sarah. Um... And I don't know, I feel like I'm a very different person around those two than I am around everybody else. They make me incredibly comfortable so I can be my true weird self. Go on, how would your friends describe you? Um, David Bren. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they call me David Bren after, after <laughs> yeah, uh, Ricky Gervais in the office. Apparently I give off those vibes, especially after a drink call. When I've got a shirt and tie on, that's it. Even apparently the appearance, apparently how I look I mean, also screams out Ricky Gervais. Yeah, when you've got the big beard, like when it's, it's the big beard. Yeah. quarantine beard, I get that. I get full Ricky Gervais. I can't watch Afterlife with you without without seeing you on the screen. Horrendous. Uh, yeah, Ricky, Ricky Gervais, David Brent. Modest. Do you collect anything? We have a bit of a nerd corner downstairs, he don't we? He says we, doesn't mean we. He means he has. We? I don't think so. You have some shelves <laughs> in the nerd corner. Little nerd varnas. Yes, uh, we collect random bits and ornaments and 
We like those pop vinyls, don't we? We've got yeah, we've got a couple of them. Um, I've got some Mario stuff in there, some dinosaur stuff. Some Destiny stuff. Some Destiny stuff. So we'll move on to some couple of questions, some quite easy ones. I mean, the first one, uh, how did we meet? We were, we were kind of set up by our mutual friend Sarah, sort of. Um, she'd sort of arranged a night out for our friend's birthday. And she'd invite you along, would she? She did, yeah. She does like to take credit for, for setting us up. Only when things are good. When things are bad, she completely denies all involvement. Yeah. So when things are going well, she, she completely takes 100% credit for, <laughs> for all the success of our relationship. Um, what was your first impression of me? It's a trap! Um, I thought you were genuine. Oh. Yeah, I thought you were a genuine person, Danceworth. And nice. I can't really remember my first impression of you, to be fair. I, I think, I thought you were nice, but beforehand, Sarah sort of painted this picture of you and she said, you know, he's really nice, he's the kind of guy you take home to your mum. He's kind of like my little pet fish. Pet fish? Yeah, and it was just sort of like... Pet fish. <laughs> it was sort of like, what, what do you mean? But we almost missed any chance of being together in all fairness because Sarah told you that I didn't fancy you, did she? She did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did, yeah. And she'd only told me that in the taxi home. She said to me like, oh, Ross was kind of, you know, inkling for your, for your number and I said that you probably weren't into it. I was like, I really wish you hadn't told him that. I could definitely am. And she texted you straight away, I think. I'm yeah. more certain she just said, Jess fancies you. Yeah, she did. <laughs> And then um, you stood me up. I did not. You did. I arranged. I, didn't. I asked you. I got your number off Sarah, and I said, "Come on, let's go for something. Yeah, let's go you for something to eat and a drink." The next day. The next and I day. Was hanging out of my back. We both drank a lot of alcohol. I, like, I haven't no drank excuses. for about a year, Ross. No excuses. <sighs> and then you were like, "Oh, sorry, I can't make it. I'm like well hungover in the." I was. And then uh, we did meet up on the Monday. So we, we met on the Saturday. Yeah. I asked you out on the Sunday. You stood me up. I didn't stand you, up. you Okay, okay. So we went out on the Saturday and we met. And then you stood me up on the Sunday. <laughs> we and rearranged then, it for the Monday. You're right, you're right. I'm sorry. You stood me up on the Sunday. So we rearranged to Monday. Didn't we? Um, and then we went for a drink or something to eat and you <laughs> yeah. refused to let me buy you any food. Yeah. We so were, Yeah, we we sort of didn't know what we wanted to do anyway, did we? So we no. Went to Weatherspoons. Yeah, we went to a Weatherspoons. <laughs> we got loads of sides. No, come on. You went. You would not <laughs> tell me what you wanted to eat, so... Because I didn't want you to pay. You, you nipped off to the toilet and I nipped to the bar. I ordered a load of different starters and said, Whatever you like, you can eat. It was a sneak eat. attack. It was. It was a bit of a sneak attack, and it's also how I learned that you were allergic to soy sauce. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that I'm, went down I'm, well. I'm, I'm not to allergies, just yeah. And we do, we do it every year for anniversary. We do. I say that we've only done it once because for our second anniversary we were in Spain. We were in Spain and we were looking for a, like a, a Spanish weather spoon, yeah. and we did actually see a what weather, looked like yeah. a weather spoon. It's I think weather spains. Yeah, weather spains. <laughs> <laughs> we never went in. Shout out to you guys, but um, yeah, we, we we didn't go in, did we? No, we didn't. No. Um, what did we do for our anniversary? Oh, you proposed that morning, hadn't you? Not, I didn't forget that. I oh, know, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. Look how no, subtle that was. Just... That you do that. You're like, oh god, what did we do? I meant the what? evening. What? I meant for the oh, evening. Jess, what, what did we do on our anniversary? Come on, you, you, please. Some like, idiot woke me up at seven o'clock in the morning I to did. go and see the sunrise. Yeah. It didn't rise until ten past eight. And it was a bit cold, <laughs> it was wasn't it? Freezing. Yeah. To say it was the to say it was Spain, it was a little bit. Oh, nippy. it was cold. It was busy though. And yeah, so basically, <laughs> I'm having to create excuses as to why we're on the beach at seven, seven o'clock in the morning, um, in the dark, waiting for the sunrise. Like, oh, we're, you know, it's our penultimate day. We're flying it's tomorrow. I just wanted to, you know, capture the sunrise before we went. Yeah, and I actually recorded the uh, the whole thing, which if you, I won't. I won't show the full video. I'll put a little 
a little clip somewhere. Um, but yeah, if the full video, you can just see people walking <laughs> by and me getting more and more agitated, <laughs> looking around, waiting for it to be clear. So it's, you know, it's actually a little bit personal. Definitely um, clear. But the amount of joggers, and then that one guy with the camera Jesus. decided to set up right next to where we were away. stored. He had the same idea as me. He wanted to get the sunset, yeah. but he just wanted the sunset. There was no ulterior motive there. He, he was, um, yeah, he was keen. He ruined his morning. Yeah, he ruined it. We, we ruined each other's mornings <laughs> because I wanted to propose and he wanted the sunset. Yeah. In the end, he gave up, he left. We won. We won. Um, so yeah, I think, we'll, I think we'll leave that one there. But thanks for listening, if you are still listening. Um, hopefully you've got to know about us and what we're about. Um, we'll be putting some more videos out there soon, some more challenge videos. Yeah, they won't all be sat around, chatty. No. One-on-ones. No. <laughs> um, this was very much a, a get to know you. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, leave a like, subscribe. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one.